Hello YouTubers out there, this is Jerry Sider via The Movies. So uh, I finally saw this trailer for Birth of a Dragon. Uh, Birth of the Dragon, rather, which uh, was shown at the Toronto Film Festival in September of this year, and which has faced some accusations, notably uh, the fact that it's a whitewashing of the story of the legend of Bruce Lee. And when you watch the trailer, it's very clear, um, because there's this voiceover narration with uh, an actor named Billy Magnuson who plays Stephen McKee, a martial arts student arriving in San Francisco and you know he sort of gets into the drug scene a little bit and this and that and the other, the drug party scene, whatever, but it seems to be be told from the point of view of a student who is white and although there's nothing technically wrong with this, what's interesting is that the film is actually about Bruce Lee because of the title, Birth of the Dragon, not Birth of the Dragon Student, who happens to be white. So, um, eventually it revolves in 1965 around uh, Oakland and San Francisco, uh, the setting, and an actual fight between a Shaolin master, Jack Mann, and the young Bruce Lee. Now, the actor playing Bruce Lee doesn't exactly grab me. Um, what's interesting about this, though, I think, is the fact that in 1993, we had really the first major film, at least a more serious Hollywood film to some degree, a biography of Bruce Lee, that was about Bruce Lee. It had uh, Jason Scott Lee, who played Bruce Lee, and it was his story and his uh, marriage to Linda Lee and so on. Although I didn't really care for that film very much, I thought that it kind of glossed over many things surrounding Bruce Lee. Um, it didn't have really the reality even of Bruce Lee from some of his movies. It just, you know, it just, it lacked some measure of uh, reality and perhaps some grit. Um, anyway, that was in 1993, and now we have this film, Birth of the Dragon, and it just doesn't grab me at all. It looks silly, um, and you know, when you see, uh, there's one shot of Bruce Lee as he jumps off the top of a scaffold and, or a balcony or something, and lands so gracefully on the floor from up, you know, I would say at the very least 14, 15, 16 feet, it just doesn't look real. I mean, yes, that man, he could jump high and everything else, but this this looks like a mess, this, this film, just judging from the trailer. And telling it from the point of view of a white student, uh, even if it was an Asian student or whoever, I mean, telling it from any other point of view except Bruce Lee's doesn't make sense, at least not at this time in our history of uh, cinema. Um, when we've had a lot of whitewashing tales of uh, Asians and other movies for so long, you know, it's really time we go back and cast an Asian actor in the pivotal role as the lead. Uh, and judging by the title of the film, they seem to have gone the other way, and I don't understand why. So there you have it. Those are my views on this. Uh, we have yet to see a proper film treatment of the legend of Bruce Lee. Uh, and it should be told by, or at least approved by, Linda Lee and uh, his daughter, um, Shannon Lee. And she herself actually has distanced herself from the film, saying that the film, like others about her father, lack a complete understanding of his philosophies and his artistry. They haven't captured the essence of his beliefs in martial arts or storytelling. Um, so there you have it. So uh, let's hope someday we get the real story. But until then, this is Jerry Sadovia at the Movies, signing off.